What is up everybody, welcome back to Case Sigil. Today's video, I wanna show you a quick tip on how you can find, or three quick tips, I guess, on how you can find the smallest number in a list in Python. Essentially, I wanna walk you through the more naive approach, um, and then kind of using a Python trick with that naive approach, and then follow it up with basically a one-liner and one function call that you can use that'll give you that smallest value out of the list. Now, we have a current list right here, um, and out of this list with all these different numbers that are just not ordered, um, you can see that the largest is 33 and the smallest is zero. So, out of all these three different methods they should all return that the, the smallest value is zero so let's drop hop right in and start coding so the method um, that I want to show now of how you can find the smallest number in a list this is kind of what I would call the more naive approach and that's just because um, this is probably a method that would probably be used by a lot of beginners and that's just because for loops is what we're gonna be using here um, or, so I should just put this loops and that and mostly it's when someone learns how to use loops and they learn how to loop through a list and gather information um, typically when they're faced with this type of problem this is kind of their first approach that they would go to. At least this was mine. It may not be all, but this is kind of mine um, when I first was starting out. And so I wanted to show this because this is a powerful method, um, can be used because sometimes you want to find the smallest while doing something else and doing some of these other tricks and trips might not help. So the na naive approach is essentially saying, I'm gonna have the smallest value and I can just, because it's the smallest, I'm just gonna set this to something like um, super big. So I'm just gonna say this is int of, of one e to the 100th, right? That's just gonna be one with zero on, or 100 zeros behind it, right? Um, and actually, I don't know if I could do that because it's an int, but I'll do 10 zeros behind it, right? So super big. And I'm just gonna say, or what you could do, and this is probably actually the better approach, to be honest. You could say cur list and just set it equal to the first value in the list, right? Um, and that's just because you just know it'll be there. And if the first value is the smallest, then hey, you already found it and it'll loop through everything and double check. Otherwise, if the first value is not, it won't. And then we can do is say for num in cur list. What we wanna do here is say, if num is less than the smallest, then our smallest, smallest is equal to num. And if I print this out, you'll see that method one smallest. Now, if I run this, you see that method number one gives us a zero, which is what we wanted, which is at the end of the list, right? So that's method number one and how you can base it, or that's a method that you can use to find the smallest value in the list. Another method that I wanna show you is essentially a trick off of lists. So when we have a list, we know we can do things like, um, we could sort them, um, we could rearrange, we could shuffle them. Um, so method number two is going to involve uh, sorting, sorting our lists. So what we're gonna essentially do is I'm gonna say our sorted lists is equal to sorted, and then we pass in the, our list, her list, and then if I print this out, show this. If I show this right here, you'll see that. So method number one, we gave a zero. Now we're on part of method number two. We have the sorted list. So zero all the way up to 33, right? In order, right? In the norm, in the correct numer numerical order. Now here's the trick, right? I know that when I sort the list using this function, by default, it's gonna give me from the smallest value to the largest value, which means if this returns a list, the smallest value is going to be equal to the sorted list at index zero, right? And that's just because when you sort the list, it gives us our small value all the way up to our large value. Um, and I could also, if I wanted to want, like, and just to prove that this works, I wanna do shortest, smallest, smallest two. And you should see method number two is zero as well. Now, if I wanted to make this in one line, a trick that you can do here is knowing that the output of, of this right here is going to be a list. You can also tack on these brackets at the end and say zero, and then that should return the exact same thing, which it does right there. So that is another method on how you can use, um, how you can use to find the smallest value in a list. So the final method that I wanna show is basically the simple function or built using a built-in function in Python that'll give you the, the exact value that is the, the smallest value in the list. Um, so we can do loops, we can sort and grab out indexes, but really, if I want to, I'm just gonna say, so method number three is using the built-in min function. Now, what I can do here is, is I can just say smallest of three is equal to min, and I pass in the list, because it needs an iterable, something to iterate through and grab information out of. And then I can just say print um, this right here. And if I run this, you should see that method number, oops, method number three. There it is, method number three is zero as well. And that's because I like this function because in the first naive approach, we need to know how to use loops and through looping through a list and doing comparison with numbers to essentially find that value. Method number two needs to know the tricks about how to sort lists. 
Whereas method number three is just, hey, I know there's a built-in function that will, if I give it a list, it'll tell me the smallest value, right? Um, there's not any tricks I need to know or any other like type of you know looping. Um, and that'll give us the straight value right there. So there you have it. There's three different methods that you can use to find the smallest value in a list in Python. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. And until next time, keep on programming.